Hello everyone. Today I am here to take the topic Membrane Lipids and Membrane Fluidity. Let us discuss what is Membrane Lipids. Lipids have a structural role in their constitute the structure of framework of biomembranes or biological membranes. Membrane lipids include phospholipids, glycolipids, phingolipids, plasmalogens, etc. Now let us look at each of each one of them. First one is phospholipids. It is the derivatives of glycerol, so it is also called as the glycerol phosphate. Now let us look at its composition. It is formed of a glycerol, two fatty acids and a phosphate group complex. The each phosphate group complex forms the head region which is polar and hydrophilic which means water loving whereas the fatty acid forms the hydrophobic region sorry it forms the tail region which is non-polar and hydrophobic that means water hating region. Fatty acids gives the membrane a semi-fluid consistency or a liquid crystalline consistency. Next one is plasmalogens. Plasmalogens are phosphoglycerides which in having a fatty acid chain is attached to the C1 of a glycerol through an either linkage. These are called plasmalogens. The commonest alcohol group attached to their phosphate group is ethanolamine. The plasmalogens are commonly found in nerve and muscle membranes. The next one is glycolipids. Glycolipids are exclusively restricted to the non-cytoplasmic outer side of the plasma membrane. So the ganglioside are the most complex type of gly glycolipids. They are abundant in plasma membranes of nerve cells and myelin sheets of nerve fibers. Glycolipids forms a cell coat called the glycocalyx over the plasma membrane and they serve as the surface receptors for cell recognition. The next one is sphingolipids. Sphingolipids are structurally similar to phospholipids and the only difference between them is, is that the glycerol in phospholipid is replaced by sphingenin in sphingolipids. Sphingolipids with attached carbohydrates are especially abundant in membranes of plant cells and nerve cells. The next one is sterols. Sterols are non-polar and very slightly amphipathic neutral lipids and sterols of eukaryotic membrane include cholesterol, stigma, sterols, etc. Here we can see each sterols like cholesterol, cytosterol, stigma, sterol, etc. So the diagram is given below. In addition to this, cholesterol with fatty acids of phospholipids reduces the fluidity of the membrane and enhances the mechanical strength and also the stability and thereby reduces the membrane permeability to water and other polar molecules. So a single cholesterol along with fatty acids does a many functions that it is reduces the fluidity of the membrane, enhances the mechanical strength and stability and also reduces the membrane permeability. Let us look out to the fluidity of plasma membrane. Plasma membrane as we all know it is a biologically active liquid crystalline structure and its fluidity is mainly maintained by its lipid content. The membrane fluidity is inversely proportional to the cholesterol content. That means cholesterol lowers the membrane's fluidity. At the same time fatty acids which have a higher chain length and greater unsaturation enhances the membrane fluidity. So in all we can say that the lower the cholesterol content higher the chain length and the greater the unsaturation means the membrane fluidity will be higher. Now let us look about the significance of membrane fluidity. Fluidity contributes to elasticity and stretchability of the plasma membrane. It also promotes passive diffusion of lipophilic substances that means lipid loving substances across the plasma membrane. Fluidity and free molecular movements Fluidity makes plasma membrane selectively permeable barrier to the hydrophilic ions and molecules. That's all. Thank you.